What's going on YouTubers, gamers and fellow hobbyists and welcome to On The Bench With Pete, the weekly build along, paint along, hobby along series uh, that you put on in the background as you build or paint or read or do whatever you do um, for about an hour. I will chat about various things, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll share my life a bit with you, we'll talk about various things. Essentially it's just me talking to myself but as I know at least some of you will watch this I'm kind of not talking to myself so that's what I'm going to do. Anyway you're if you're going to paint along or whatever you've got this all in the background get your models and your workstation bench whatever all set up models paints glues whatever drink and we'll get some work done so um, if we go to the bench I'll show you what I've got here to work on today. That's right, so I have got some Gene Steeler Cult to work on, as you, you, you know I, I had from the past. And I'm, uh, as these are all, I don't know, um, miners or something or whatever, I don't know what they could be. I'm, I'm going to start work on their, um, on, well, on their colour schemes today. And I, and I don't, honestly don't know what colour scheme I'm going to do them it's tricky it really is um they'll all have the same sort of thing because they're all going to be working like in the same mine or whatever they they were doing and of course they'll be worshipping these guys here so i don't know um but there's plenty of skin to work on uh, so I may start with that <clears throat> see yeah we may start with that see a lot of them have actually let me start my time a lot of them have got uh, quite alien-esque features here. Well, I'm thinking for the skin, a kind of like a like a midland flesh. What I've got here, but but with a, a very grey overtone, or some more than others. So I, I will make a grey wash to go over that. Maybe grey or green. That could be interesting. I think. Uh, or like a glaze even. Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Well, that's what I'm going to do, I think. I'm going to start off painting uh, skin areas. So I'll have them all to... I'm going to use Midland Flesh. That's what I'm going to use. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a bit wheezy today. Last night in work, I... I was on my favourite aisles. It was brilliant. You know, I wish I was every every time, but um, essentially, hang on, let me just reach over and grab. Essentially, um, I I, uh, I spent I suppose I spent the longest time in the non-food section, which is all the the cleaning products and. Uh, you know, the washing powders, the detergents, the bathroom cleaners, all that kind of stuff. And I think it kind of gets in your lungs, you know, it's like, so I was, uh, I could feel it, you know. It's, just, it's quite a strong uh, smell. So I'm going to shake my pot up here. Um, uh, right, so I, I'm not going to be basing it with uh, Bergman's Glow uh, like normal. I'm going to go straight in with the Midland Flesh here, or the Cadian Flesh. It's the same. It's the same thing. Midland Flesh is kind of Cadian Flesh tone. If if you look at this, it's, it's, it's pretty much identical. Um, so I'm going to use this. <clears throat> yeah, and I think that's what's causing me to wheeze today. You know. Um. So. That's uh. Apologies for that, and um, hopefully it won't disrupt us too much. I need a couple drops of retarder in there. I'll put some 
thinner than a minute two. There we go. And lastly, a wet brush. Right. Mix that up and we're good to go. Okay, let's find a suitable brush. Might use that one. What have we got here? Might be too s a bit too small. I don't know. I'm looking for maybe a character brush or uh, yeah, a character brush, not a regiment brush. I might try a bit with this triple zero one here. What is it? Uh, Daler and Rowney. Um, yeah, so. Gene Steeler Cult. Yes, yeah, so that's what I was doing. I thought I got all my work finished. Uh, when I say finished, I mean put out on the shelf uh, by Habas 9. Uh, last night then of course I had to dress it all in make sure I look good and whatever else and then I was helping somebody else out and so I was essentially doing um, crisps after that and that took me right up until leaving uh, at midnight so yeah if I could stay on my favourite aisles I'll tell you if I could stay on my favourite aisles and you know that'd be good make make life much easier ultimately though, i want day work if i was on day work i wouldn't bother me so much what i was on what i was doing <clears throat> so i'd be essentially just uh doing like the overflow of the top stock when i say top stock i mean that stuff on the the shelves that you see on the the shelf that says for colleague use only or for staff use only, you know, that, that stuff. Kind of the overflow that couldn't go out on the shelf at the time, that, that sort of thing. That's what I'd be doing. See, if I, if I could get days doing that, then um, I'd happily stay where I am. But as it is, I'm looking for day work. And... Um, I'm prepared to take a drop in hourly rate to do it because you know you've got to measure I think what's important to you in life and ask yourself what what's important to you and to me the, the most important things to me are uh, you know my health obviously um, my family and uh, my overall happiness which the first two are contributors of so that's the second one now um, so, you know, health-wise I struggle with the nights because of the sleeping pattern is disrupted and I, I don't see my family, so that affects my happiness, you know, and, you know, I'm not, give, not able to give as much a time <clears throat> and focus to them that I would like to, so, you know, it's a knock on effect I mean the financially I mean I take a drop in hourly rate purely because I know turn my heater off a minute um, that if I was working days I'd be able to work more hours anyway so that would make up for that so, so at the moment I can't work as many hours as I would like to you know to make it financially viable for me I mean don't get me wrong it's, it's I'm grateful to have a job it's fantastic to be able to say yeah I'm working great feeling yeah it's, it's a nice feeling you know if I, if I want something badly enough you know I can I can get it or even if I've got to save up, I don't have to save up for too long. And I can get it, you know. Just uh, 
adjust my posture here a moment. Um, so, so yeah, so I've got an interview with uh, an agency this week, and I can't remember if it's Thursday or Friday. I'll have to ch check my emails just to make double check, make sure. But um, I'm hoping that they can set me up with something maybe factory related on a day shift. Even if it was an alternating shift, uh, well that what that means is, and I've done this before. One week is early's, and then one week is late. So a week on early's, which is traditionally around here is like six in the morning till two in the afternoon, <clears throat> and then you do that for a week, and then the following week you do two in the afternoon until ten o'clock at night, which isn't so bad, you know, it's not so bad at all. Yeah. So I'm just uh, applying this uh, Midland flesh, this P3 Midland flesh to all the flesh areas of this Gene Steeler cult. Um, might be able to get the kill team set finished then, so I've got the scenery to do. Because these are the guys from the kill team set, you see. And, uh, yeah, if Kill Team's, the only thing with Kill Team, um, I, I don't know how complex the rules are. It's not like, I shouldn't think it would be that bad, but, uh, the Strontium Dog game I've got is super easy. So I'll apply a grey glaze over these, hopefully. Or a green glaze, or a greeny grey glaze, or a green on some and grey on others glaze. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. Um, right. I think working in a factory would be quite good to do that again, you know. Meet some, certainly meet some characters. That said, I've met a few characters, as it were, in um, the job I'm in now, but. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Detail and he's brilliant. I'm going to start another tutorial today as well. When I say start, I mean really just start. Okay. So don't forget, chaps, let me know what you're working on as well. Always like to hear that. And um, yeah, so you may have noticed in the intro, I, I said about this being a weekly show. I'm happy enough at this stage to to uh, say, I mean, it's been weekly for years, but to actually state that it is a weekly show. So if you're new to this series, this is a weekly show and it always has been guys. Um, but um, if you're new, you can always go back to the, the early on the benches and work your way up. <laughs> you see how it's changed over the years as well. I think I filmed some on my uh, laptop. I can't remember now. 
so long ago. But I think so. I'm going to have some tea. I think it's a good job some of these have got like masks on and whatever because I expect they, they're quite changed underneath. Some of these are like proper gene stealer hands they got, you know. So Christmas is almost upon us. Hell, I don't know, you might have even had Christmas by the time you see this. <laughs> but here, the here and now, Christmas is almost upon us. I'm not as organised as I would have liked to have been. But, you know, um, hey ho, busy lifestyles and all that been a heck of a year it really has um, especially job wise um, I mean my wife's had certainly had a share of ups and downs um, in a working environment <clears throat> um, I've dug out a few older figures as well from my um, my D and D uh, role playing box, and I'm going to show them some love. Basically, um, a lot of them weren't finished, <laughs> you know, finished or broken or or whatever they are. You know, they just need tarting up a bit. I think is the word. different what different color washes on each of them you know I, I think that would be cool on these you know blue green red gray <laughs> gray for the most part I think would be good But yeah, she's had a, certainly had a share of ups and downs. Uh, I'm going to get jobs quickly and do temping work. She, she quite enjoyed the temping work, I think. And I'm wondering if I would. all of them. Right, so that's the <coughs> main base colour for their skin. Uh, let's have some tea. So just going to have a sip of tea a minute. Hmm. Keep warm. So I've shut, I shut the heater off. Now it's starting to get cold again. So that's any trouble. Turn, turn the heating on. It gets really hot. Turn the heating off. It gets pretty cold. Um, so starting on, I think it probably is going to be best to 
um, put the shade or glaze on the skin before I do anything else. Okay, it goes over other parts of the model and I'm not going to be um, um, prepared for that. So, shouldn't take too long for them to dry. But what I'll do is I'll see if I can do some work on other models. Actually, my goon could probably, um, well, that's dry now. He could probably use some uh, flesh tone love, as it were. So I'll use a fresh palette for that one. Because he's had the Bugman's Glow treatment already. So this one. Uh, well, last night for me, and it's what, the fourth today, so it's the third when I went in December. Well, our Christmas music started. Oh. Sorry. Um, our Christmas music started. Um, you know, all the carols and whatnot, are, you know, over the speaker system. And, and I, I don't know. I'm sure I'll be fed up to the back teeth with it by the time it's over. But it was quite nice to have a bit of music on the speakers overnight. Um, used to have it before, but um, it got turned off. I don't know where it's controlled, who, who, who deals with that. I, I just don't know. I don't know, but, um, you know, so it was a bit of a welcome return, really, I, I think. I know I've got to do this guy's hair yet. He's just painting him up as a goon. <laughs> he could be a wannabe um, bounty hunter as well, couldn't he? He could be. Yeah, or you could make stuff up about them. I don't know. You could do. <laughs> More tea. I've nearly finished my kobolds, um, which is going to be nice. Yeah, some kobolds. Um, I hope some kobolds that we can see in D and D for a change. <laughs> <sighs> Excuse me, I'm just so tired. Dead tired, huh? I'll show you my uh, next tutorial, Reaper bonus tutorial, it's going to be this guy, this barkeeper. Um, I'm going to paint his feet up by his skin first, I suppose, before I put him on his base, because the base is already done. Um, that could represent the cobblestones outside in the street or in the bar itself. So I will have that. Um, then he'll be glued. Uh, I've got um, Cassandra of the Blade. There's going to be another tutorial, which I'm going to do. It's this model here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That's going to be great. Then Wonder Hat Wizard. Um, he, he looks awesome too. Traditional old wizard guy. When I first played D and D. It was just a magic user and an illusionist, I think, were the only two. Well, when I first played, the very first played, the very first time, 
I played Basic Dean, which is just Magic User. So, uh, that's all it was. Yeah, Magic User. <laughs> but um, the Illusionist um, character profile they had later on, it was quite good actually. I thought I never got to play one. Oh, did I? I might have done once. But, um, yeah, I, I thought it was really good. You need to use your head a bit more with that one. Because <clears throat> of the spell set. Hmm. Oh, another thing I'm going to paint up is these um, swarm of rats. So, yeah. But I see there's a, there's a spot there where I want to get some... Um, Primer on. Must have missed it before. So we'll do that. This is all good. It's all given my um, Gene Stealer cult is it? a chance to dry. Yeah. Right, so that's that. So, just have a bit of a look at them now. Still not quite ready, I don't think. Um, I think the first one might. Just got to wonder. And this will be good to try different things, so... Washes and glazes. Now I've got a pale grey uh, quick drying transparent acrylic. It says I'm not sure. Gonna be watered down enough. We're gonna try. So I've added some water to it. This is an old regiment brush I've got here. That might have been watered down too much. Yeah, so I quite like the look of that as it's drying. Oh, it looks pretty awesome. Actually, yeah, I like that. I'll have him like that, and I'll have him like it too. Yeah. So these two are done. The skin. Does anybody else want grey? Mm, so I quite like. I, I do like the effect that's coming off. At um, I think you can have a bit of grey. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah. Yeah, so we've got three grey. 
Now I'd quite like to do see what blue looks like, and I think I'd like to try it on him. Um, I want, also want to try green, so I'll get the green out. Or shall we try the green shade? Try that. Gillum and blue. Nope, I want. Come on, we want Dragon Off Nightshade. That's Gucci Violet. Nope, Dragon Off Nightshade is what I'm after. Dragon Off Nightshade. No, I got some somewhere. Loads of uh, blue glaze. I've got three Gillimans. <laughs> Here we go. Drakenhof Nightshade. I think this will be a cool one. Well, just different effects I want to try out. You know? More tea. Hmm. Yeah, dragging off the nightshade. I think this is going to be super cool. Oh yeah, I like that. So you clean up all the other areas. Anyway, yeah, I like that a lot. It shows he's a bit further gone, I think. Um, look at this guy here with the big gun. I think he can have a, a blue wash too over his skin. Yeah, the other thing I like about factory jobs, or the majority of factory jobs, um, I mean, one thing I don't like is, is the board and repetition. Yeah, that's fair enough. But one thing I do like is the majority of them closed down over Christmas and things like that. And that suits me perfectly well. I'll try out um, this green shade next. This is the one, actually, this is the one which goes weird, I think. So, I might give that a miss. Yeah, I will use instead Coella Green Shade. But yeah, factories closed down over Christmas. Things whereas retail stays open, doesn't it? Like, oh. well, I don't like that. It does not sit well with me. I want to spend time with my family. And that's what I want to do. I 
let's uh, see what this green shade is. This is a dark one, I think. Oh, loads of it. Loads of it there. Yeah, I quite like that too. Well, this guy with the axe have some of that. <laughs> yeah, if the ones with the grey shaders not been as badly or not as far gone infection wise as the uh, these others. Leaves three more. Now, do I do a Carabo Crimson on one? See how that goes. Could do. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Gucci Violet, I might try. Yeah. Gucci Violet, definitely. I might just try the red tone, actually. That might be better. That's his ink, though. Don't have much left of that one, actually. Do I have any other? Um... Yeah. Dark tone. I've got a purple tone as an ink. Maybe that would go quite well instead. Inks lay differently, I know, but yeah. Mm. Right, let's make sure everything's okay. Uh, Yeah, so that's what I'm doing now, is I'm talking to the miniatures. So I'm just looking at the miniatures, visualising what colours I would like to use, you know. Yeah. Red first, I think. We'll go with the red first. I'm anxious to see how this is going to look. Anyways. Ah, uh, yeah. Not bad, actually. If I'm honest, not bad. But that ain't bad at all. Um, just looking for another. Right, purple tone. Yeah, so that's that red tone. Sometimes I think the inks are better than the washes. Beautiful colour this the sink. Lovely. Hmm. 
Hmm, to think of a, a, a colour scheme for their, like, their fatigues and things, you know. Um, I think we'll use purple on him too. He's got claws on his left hand, or his left hand should be. He has claws. Yeah, that purple looks great. Um, okay. There. I think that's good for that. You know, I think that technique, if I'd have known that technique, I would have used that on my ethereal more. So I think that works better, actually. And painting the skin an actual colour, I think. So the thought process behind this was paint the skin a, oops, a lighter version of what it would have been. Or what you think it would have been. All these washes still. I guess the rubbish has been. And we're dragging the bin up next door. Yes, think of what it was initially, and then change it how you want. So these can, these don't look as good at the moment because they're gr the rest of their body is grey and they're you know primed with grey. But um, they will do once I correct the clothing and things for them. Uh, that said, it's either going to be greys. Or browns, it's gonna be dirty colours, I think. Yeah, for mining, I mean, you could have blues, like a blue, a dark blue, maybe. I don't know. Let's have a look at my blues. Actually, actually, it's my blues and purples. Enchanted blue, that's really nice. Hormagon purple? No, I don't I don't think so. Oh that's an interesting one. Incubi darkness. That's more of a grey. Gunmetal blue. Thunderhawk blue. That's quite cool. Uh, so I'm looking for the theory, but I think these might all be useful. Um, yeah. But Incubi Darkness. That's more of a grey to me, but I don't know why I put it in there. Let's have a look at the colour. I suppose it's a blue grey looking at it. Right, so. Uh, need a palette. This is what we're going to use for the main bulk or the main body. Incubi darkness. Hmm. Definitely need some retarder. Bit of water, water that down. Okay, now I've got a regiment brush, which I may need to switch out to character at some point. 
So I'm just looking where what. Yeah, I think uh, fatigues are going to be incubi darkness. I won't do these little areas on the front there with the, the like the ribbed areas. I think um, I'll leave that to a lighter colour, maybe a, like a taloned sand or something like that. Then I can do his robes another colour as well. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Uh, by darkness yeah quite like the look of so I've got work later then this evening so I don't have to um, get ready till seven o'clock. Start work at eight. Work through till midnight. So, so it's only four hours tonight. So it's an easy one tonight. I did eight hours last night, but I'm only doing four tonight. So that's not going to be as bad. Um, just making sure I get all these areas here. Like, um, got a kind of a shoulder guard, but not much of one. Yeah. Hmm. He actually goes well with his skin colour, I think. <laughs> the incubi darkness. It's thin enough to allow, you know, raised edging to come through and whatnot. I think I'll do the the kind of their version of armour. Uh, maybe a darker green or something. Uh, yeah. do his sleeves I mean, I'm trying to go I know I'll be able to tidy up later anyway 
but I'm trying to go a bit careful as much as I can. This is going to be their um, uniform, I suppose. They're miners. That would probably work. Yeah. Being bluey grey colour. Didn't you know, show the dust quite so badly. That's the official story here yeah I've got to ring my mum later I mustn't forget I'll do that after this don't know why I'm telling you guys that but uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna do see at least I get to have uh, tea with my wife tonight which is nice I didn't last night was a bit like meh don't like Mondays because I don't get to see anyone really I've got to leave go work I just don't see anyone until the next day you know it's not my favorite let's put it that way so yeah so this watered down incubi darkness is working quite well for me I quite like I quite like that They're almost like a Necromunda um, gang, aren't they? Because in many ways they could be. They could originate from Necromunda, you know. Well, I won't have any customers tonight because the store closes at eight. And um, yeah, the store closes at eight. And I'll be able to get straight on with my my work. I, I, I enjoy helping customers as it happens but the only problem is it it detracts from your work uh, and you've got like a sort of well you kind of got a time limit really on how long you're given to do a certain amount of work so you've got you kind of got targets so um, the longer you spend on these targets, I mean, they call them KPIs these days, key performance indicators. It's just a fancy word for targets. Um, that's what they are. Um, they don't take into account helping customers. And they should do. Fifty-one minutes. There's no way I'll get these finished on this stage before the end of the video today. So it's three. I might do five. So this will be four. So if I go over the other um, areas I don't want to be the sinky by darkness it doesn't matter too much I'm trying not to go over them though you know I really am but essentially it doesn't matter so I can clean up with another color which is good
So I wonder what I'll be doing tonight. They asked me if I could work overtime this year. I said, no, I cannot. I've also said I'm putting writing. If I worked on days, I'd be far more inclined to work overtime because it's easier. <laughs> it's so much easier on days. Not just the hours, the, the, the work itself. So much easier. Yeah, I mean, if I've got to go, you know, put my notice in, then that'll be a shame, but... Uh, guys then I'll be halfway through this um, this team then of this stage nice to have them all with a like color scheme Talon sand or something for the ribbed areas. Um, work out what I want the robes, the cloth rather to be, not robes. Doesn't have robes, but the cloth. Some of them have got cloth, bits of cloth. Uh, and then um, I might Agrax Earth shade over all that section then, possibly. Another thing, if I get day work, I'll be able to go out with my wife more as well. Not not just things like, uh, you know, going to your pub or whatever. So I, I don't really do that much anyway, but it'd be nice to occasionally. Um, but going around uh, different places with dogs and that together, as opposed to separately. It would just be nice, I think. As usual, didn't do any organisation for this because it's see I'll be able to do better videos as well for work days. Because <laughs> um, though I'll be doing it at a different time of day, you shouldn't notice anything because I do it a couple of weeks in advance. Um, but uh, yeah, I can organise stuff. I come home from work. I'm, I know I'm going to go to work later and stuff like that. Yeah, it would just be better. Anyway, I'm going to end it here and that's it guys go on more stiff as a board now i was like oh been in the same position for too long wow i'm tired but um i've got some stuff done i'm gonna finish off the the other five gene stealer cult cultists um now and then i'll pack up so um but yeah it's been great. Let me know. Don't forget, let me know what you've been working on. So I, I always like to know that. I'll see if I can dig some terrain out for uh, some uh, future um, videos as well to change it up a bit. Um, I've, I have actually got some more Strontium Dog characters coming. That would be nice to do as well. But uh, until then, uh, remember, all brushes lead to war. Share, like, subscribe, and um, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.